This is the vampy look I just created. I hope you guys like it. And if you guys do, just keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment in this video. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a tutorial for you guys. And it's a vampy look. And I already um, prepped my skin. I already moisturized. I did my foundation. I concealed. And I already did my brows. So we're just going to get this tutorial started. So the palette I am going to be using is this one right here, the Tartlet in Bloom palette from Tarte. This is the eyeshadow I'm gonna be doing my brow, my 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 brows, my eyes with. And today, like I said, we're gonna do a vampy look. So I'm gonna be using right now the color Sweetheart right here. It's the color I'm gonna be using. The Morphe M441 is the one I'm gonna be using so as you see i grabbed some of the color and i am using it as my transition color i am going a little bit more higher due to the reason is i have hooded eyes so if you have hooded eyes just go a little bit more higher and yes so just make sure you pack the color and just blend and blend and blend and blend here it's the Sigma E38. It's just a brush just like this. And I'm going to be getting the color Rebel right here. And I am placing that color in my crease. As you can see, I just went a little bit higher. Like I said, I do have hooded eyes. But I am just adding that color and just going back and forth, back and forth. And yes, and I am grabbing more color because I do want to intensify it this color and I just want this color to show a little bit more that way you can see where the crease is at but yes just build it up and just go back and forth back and forth and yes and once again I grabbed the color sweetheart which was that transition color and I am just placing it back in there I feel like it disappeared so um yes I added more of that color and I am just blending so I'm getting the color leader and I'm grabbing a Morphe brush and I, I'm going to use this color to do all over my lid. But first I'm just starting in the outer V, but I'm going to use it all over my lid. So now I, am I did switch my brush to this Sonia brush. And this Sonia um, brush is amazing. It picks up the color very, very nicely. So I'm just tapping this um, eyeshadow all over my lid, which is the color leader. And just pack it and make sure you blend just right there in the crease just to remove any harsh lines and everything just looks more like an ombre effect. So yes, just keep um, blending and packing. So now I'm grabbing this brush. This brush, I apologize, has a no name. I apologize. But I'm going to be using the color Charmer. And it's just that white color right there. And I am going to be placing that color in my brow bone. When you place that color in your brow bone, make sure you blend it very nicely with your, with your transition color. That way you remove any harsh lines. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and use the Better and Sex Mascara. And this one is the waterproof one. And I'm just going to curl my lashes. So comment down below if you have already tried this mascara. If not, just let me know what is your favorite mascara. Also, I'm so excited. These are my first pair ever of house of lashes. And I just can't wait to try them. I'm so, so excited, ladies. You have no idea. <laughs> So now I already cut them and they fit perfectly. So the lashes, not the lashes, the glue I'm using is this one right here and it's just a dual glue. This glue is a bomb. Let's see. Oh my goodness, where have I been that I've never gave these lashes a try? Oh my goodness. 
obviously living underneath the rock. <laughs> So, I que esperar un ratito to just. I need a little fan, that's what I need here. I could dry up my glue. So, I love this tool. This is the tool I that I could only apply my eyelashes with. Um, I actually purchased this on eBay, and I think it was like a dollar or less than a dollar. Ooh, honey. Mm. Soy la nueva yo. Mm. So. These are stunning, stunning. Nadie me va a reconocer with these lashes. I'm gonna grab the color of Bunny Girl right here. And I am using this Sigma brush. It's an E30 brush and it's my favorite brush to add um, the highlights in my inner corner. So yes. I love this brush, it's awesome. And right now I am using my Molly eyeliner and it's in the color Midnight. Which it's just a very jet black eyeliner and it's waterproof and you can actually buy this at your local Ulta. Then next I'm grabbing this Equal Tool brush and they have no name so yes it's just this brush and I'm grabbing the color Rebel and I am going to be placing it on my lower lash line. I'm just going to be packing and blending, packing and blending until the color is pretty and dark. And yes. And then next I am coming with this color and it's Leader and I am using the same Equal Tool brush and I'm just going to place that color like right there on my lower lash line just right there. And yes, and I'm going to do that same steps on the other side of my eye. And the only reason I'm just packing it just right there, it's because I want that part to look a little bit more darker since we are going for a uh, vampy look. So we want it to look more darker. My bottom lash in is just a waterproof, better than sex mascara. And some in my bottom lashes. ¿Qué es esto? And this product is from Essence and it's clear and it's just to set my brows. Look, and I'm going to be grabbing this Milani Baked Bronzer and it's in the number 06 Golden. So I'm just going to grab this brush and it's from Sonia. And then the color just looks like this. So I'm just um, going to bronze up my face, um, make my face look a little bit slim. But yes, so I'm just bronzing my cheeks. And I'm going to place some of this product also in my forehead and just bronze it up because I love a bronzy look. And also the nose, don't forget to get your nose and yes, just keep bronzing it if that's what you like. Bottom of my long car right here. Try to make this disappear for a little bit because once this makeup comes off, the long cars are going to pop out. So... Next, I am coming in with this Equal Tool brush, and I'm sorry they don't have any names, but I'm just going to get this brush, and I'm going to blend everywhere I put the bronzer, so which is the cheeks, the forehead, the nose, everywhere, just to remove any harsh lines. And I am coming with this blush from Tarte, it's Party, and this brush right here has no name, because I did purchase it on eBay years ago, and yes. The next, I am going to be coming in with this highlighter right here, and it's the Wet n Wild, and it's the color Precious Petals. It's the Morphe M510, and I'm just going to get some product. And add this. So just place um, wherever is it that you want to glow. I like to put it on my cheeks, on my nose, and so on. So just put it where you want to glow. So now we are done with these. I'm just going to use this one right here, the Milani one, and I I'm just going to spray it all over my face, but just make sure your mouth is closed. Next, I am grabbing this lip combo right here that I'm going to be mixing together, and it's a Wet n Wild lipstick. As you can see, it has no name. It's just like pure numbers. But next, I'm grabbing this Jordana lip liner, and it's called Plush Plum, and I'm going to be using this combo together. So... If you have not tried Jordana products and Wet n Wild, 
you guys should try them these um products are amazing and they're so affordable and the formula on this is amazing okay you guys and this is it this is my vampy look that i had for you guys today i hope you guys love it let me try to get you guys just a little bit closer so. and this is the eye i i did for you guys today and yes oh, look at these lashes like oh my goodness my heart they are beautiful they are so Stunning, like I just love them. Mm, the lip color and everything. Yes, mm -mm -mm. get it is, get it is. Ah. So chill. No me reconoces. No, just kidding. So yes, uh, this is my bank B tutorial look. I hope you guys love it and give this video a thumbs up if you guys did. And till next time, you guys, I hope you guys have an amazing, beautiful, blessed day. And once again, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? And like, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Just hope you guys have an amazing, beautiful, blessed day. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.